Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Knockups with your E. If he ults onto you, he ends up behind you, so you can just flip him quite comfortably. Uh, but the Akali coming in for Zekia, so really committing onto this dive thread and a pick that Zekia has had fantastic success on. Akali really helps you to sort of... Okay, gonna try to continue on this play. Keen has no ideas. Now the ping is gonna come out in mid, but might be a bit too late as the Rexile hard to get away from this one as Keen is just so dead and they're gonna give first blood over to Zekka here on his Akali. Yeah, really great timing and Keen just not completed for Pays is a nice spike. We'll have to see how the fight breaks out. All right, well, X Flash over the wall. They want to engage on the Sejuani. Not the best pick, but now the 1v1 in the mid lane as well. And now the Zeri looking to chase down, but the Thelios damage over the wall. And now the TP coming in from Keen. But here is Doran as well. Looking to turn it onto the Urgot, who is left all alone. And down he will go as Viper picks up a kill in this game, the second for Hamalife Esports. Yeah, I think just a bit early for Gen G to cut through the front line. To do damage to be consistent is very important. As Peanut is going to drop down the Rift Herald, this was spotted that they were doing this, but Genji just selecting to let it go. And now Keen is kind of like just alone here. Um, there is a turret, but it's nearly gone. And you would imagine that, yeah, they're just going to turn on to Keen here. The Black Cleaver is getting some work done into Doran, but no flash, no help, and no Urgot. He's just dead. Yep, completely isolated here, and Genji might try and look on the other side, but you're trying to dive an Alistair, it's a hard ask. And in the meantime, a second charge comes through. Um, Genji gonna start up this Drake. How many Peaceport say, well, we already have two Drakes, but they are still going to TP into this one. The light has a fantastic angle, Genji. Fought between a rock and a hard place that Wukong already getting started. They engage on that back line as Pays. He does survive for a bit and down will go the Zeri, but now Zekka is a huge force to be reckoned with as Chovy is left alone on the right side. But there is the fear coming in from, Udi, from the Urgot, and that should be enough to turn this fight around as Doran is the one to survive, but the rest of his teammates are gone. For Pays, I suppose. As a TP. They could back off now and be happy with getting the TP if they wanted. Yeah. Uh, the hook is going to miss, though, and there's the engage the turn onto the Urgot, who is so tanky, but not tanky enough. Immediately goes down the turn. Super crisp from the side of Hamalife Esports. That's going to get the top laner of Genji down. And now a 5v4 situation for Hamalife Esports, plus that teleport you were talking about. Uh, uh, no, he's fine. He's right. Yeah, he's right. I feel like the Eagles doing so much damage with the AoE Shred. Oh, wait. Oh, no. They had a ward. Pays backing in a very precarious spot. He has to flash, and now he's got Nikali on him. He's just dead. Down goes Pays. Essentially, for Bree is now the hands, desperate to save his teammates, but nearly goes down himself. And you know, that is look a how low, huge chunk of damage gone. Look how low Keen and Lahens are already. Yeah, and they can easily turn if they want to. I mean, here we go. There's the turn. A massive Wukong ultimate as the divide is huge from the side of Jovi, but you can't get away from the Akali just right on top of them as they continue. But Jovi is getting huge value. They go so far into the Azir that, uh, you know, I don't think you're going to be able to take out the Rek'Sai, though, as Jovi, he's still going to give it a try. He's still full health. They never got on top of the Azir. Did Hollow Knight. those, not only does this mean that Hollow Knight Esports are still really far away from the soul, but it means Elder is not going to be a prospect for a long time. Uh, they're committing to this Baron, although you can see, you can tell they're looking for a turn as well. As the angle coming in, that ult from the Sejuani not going to do anything, as here is the turn. Zekka on the flank, his Zeri ultimate is going to be popped as a big engage comes in from that, and a massive oh. follow up from Delight as. They get in the back of it, but look at Toby. He's still full health. He's still turning this one around alongside Akeen. And now it's going to be Zekka against Toby. And Zekka with a triple kill already. He is looking to finish this one off. He's got Doran with him as well. The Q timing is off, but it's still a quadra for what Zekka in the team fight. What a huge team fight for Honda Life Esports. Played so quick. Kind of locked down. If you ult Doran, it does basically nothing. Uh -oh. keep flank. This is from Zekka. He is so fed right now. He is so gigantic. And they're engaging onto Rek'Sai. I mean, they have a huge amount of damage, but it's a Rek'Sai, guys. Is the engage from the light not that great, actually? Doesn't get to the back line. Pays is totally fine. And the fight is broken up here. Honda Life Esports do not fight the angle and Gen G, they turtle up and they win this one in a big way, two kills already. And you see the difference in this situation, you know, they didn't have Doran and Zekka flanking there, it was basically just Zekka yeah, they, they have to give it up. They just don't have the time and yes, they're mobile, they'll get away, but this is a thanks for the least moment 
as they go from Baron to the Cloud Drake, and now Genji a free Cloud Drake. Absolutely was not in that last fight as Chovy, I suppose, stacking the wave as much as he possible. Oh, yeah. To the minions. They don't have wave clear unless they get melee range, so... And even that is not great. So they're going to keep all three. Kenny Urgot doesn't get to play the game. And Such a good job of just checking these flanks consistently. Yep. And here we go. This turret should fall. I mean, there's not even minions in range, just the Void Bubs. And that will be enough. They will take down the top inhibitor. It's, just, it's crazy how Honor Life Esports have these really orchestrated plays to kill Pays. And then Genji so quickly cheered around on a Viper. Yeah. Lens is going to flash away. Now the counter engage does come in, but that's a wreck side. That's not the target. You guys want to hit it now? The Seri is going insane mode. They way overextend in this fight. And now Gen G are going to pay the price as Pays loses his GA. And one small mistake, one mistimed engage, and immediately Homo Life Esports are back on top. What was going through the heads? Oh, Doran snipes Chovy here. This oh, dude, boy. They, they might actually be able to get so. Could they even end here? They're going to try. He could just stop Chovy recalling forever. Well, even if they don't get the end, they will take the mid inhibitor. And Doran absolutely will tank up this turret. Do you think he, he doesn't cares? Take damage. He doesn't take damage. He does not care at all. Oh, oh. great timing. Yeah, he doesn't have the knockup now. And uh, so Doran's just going to TP in. They're going for the end as they dive on a Toby. And he's on you as he stays alive. Zekka's tanking the turret. They can't take out the tank is here. Doran doesn't do enough damage. I don't think they can end now. Uh, they're going to try. The Nexus is bare. They are hitting it. And the Zeri just does too much. The knockup comes in oh. from Doran and denies the engage. And that is game number one. Go oh, the singularity pretty huge in terms of causing issues. But overall, I kind of like on Life Esports composition more. But I feel like if you're going to put Chovy in a pick that wants to 1v9... The bottom lane is feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, and Sabrina traded summons there, heal to heal, so no big takeaway from that one. Uh, interesting enough, Pays actually went for the longsword early. We've seen Doran Star be heavily prioritized ever since they buffed it. You know, 100 health, uh, really sizable 10 AD as well, so... G favored, and it's just been 100 life people responding. And I feel like when one team has an Aurelian Soul and they're the ones who are kind of controlling the game, that's not a... Yeah, I feel like mid-tier one is just so much more impactful. Yeah. Um, well, they're going to get it. Zek is looking, I think, for a wall angle here, though. Yeah. It is a pretty nice wall angle. As the tidal wave is going to come in, there's the wall as well. Knock up here on the Lahens, who has to flash over that wall. And once again, just waiting to see who's going to get the flip on this Drake. It's Canyon in position as well, but it is going to go the way of Canyon. Peanut in a bit of trouble now. Has to use the Crescent Guard. Akeen is isolated. They take him out. First blood at 19 minutes and 14 seconds. How will they Esports? They don't get the Drake, but they get a kill. Who needs the flashes, you know? They just end up equalizing it, getting Chovy and Lens is there. They don't get the Dragon, unfortunately, but again, the Soul's not huge priority. They will take the kill in that situation. Canyon's got to be a bit careful. <laughs> Can't dash over those rocks, but they are setting up here. Chovy over the wall. Here he comes. But now a double bubble comes in from Lahens. Getting pretty far forward, though. And now Viper is just going to isolate Chovy and immediately punish him for that aggressive play. Yeah, just a step too far there. The bubble from Lahens was fantastic, but no one was in a position to follow up. And that's they wanted a tower dive. So, like, Mirk yeah. treads on Pina on Zekka, diminishing the impact of that CC. So, it isn't... Super easy for them as well into the Talia trying to engage. Uh, Viper's going to dash into them, and yes, he cleanses, but I think he's just dead. Yeah, that was kind of confusing. As now, Peanut has to flash the wall once again. They are really getting value out of that summoner spell, I guess. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure about Viper's decision there. I mean, Genji could just kind of let them have it. They maybe try to steal the canyon, but don't fight. Yeah. I mean, they have control of this brush here with the Ocean Rift, right? They're going to throw out an ult as well, just kind of half-heartedly. It uh, doesn't do anything. Uh, Peanut still in the pit, waiting for this one. And the engage oh. hits just disappears in that back line. It's now over the wall. Here comes Viper. Can't really lock down a target. Even gets pooped back by the wall. But they're still on the chase. They should be able to get Canyon. They also picked up that Drake, of course. As Canyon, you're, you're not going anywhere. He will go down, and they should give this kill over to Viper, which they do. That's two kills. The Jace has been, like, massacred in lane, just yeah. jungle presence. It was something Genji tried to do this game, but Dorian managed to get through unscathed, and you're now seeing them reap the benefits. He's doing so much damage with these shock blasts. 
And the thing is, we talked about like the, the difficulties engaging for both sides. Uh-oh. Now uh, there's rocks on the ground. They're just being poked over the wall. Pease dashes over the rocks, immediately dies! You can't afford to make the mistake without Viper. He's going to do it as well himself, but still going to go the way of Hummel IV Sports here. Toby on the fly. He is going to get out, but Hummel IV Sports to be pretty happy with the way these fights are going. And Pays just makes a massive error there. Good play from Keen to answer back on a Viper. Could have been devastating if the Zeri survived, but still a mistake from Gen G. So I've got to be a bit careful here. He's, if he's got the light at least, and you know what? He's going to poke out Lahens and Canyon at the same time. I think it's kind of crazy when you see how little damage Zeka did there to Lahens, and then a shock blast. Oh, oh <laughs> it's a kill! It's a dead Nami! The and Nami. it's right at the last moment. Rough performance from Pays. This. This whole playoffs, honestly, you know, for a player who had such a standout oh, they see him too. debut year. Oh. But now you just, you don't have blasts, you don't have summoners, and you still don't have vision. And somebody has to find this, and the damage from the Jace is still incredible as the wall comes in. Zekka gonna be interrupted. He doesn't have his flash, but he stays alive with the help of his support. But now the Aatrox turns it around. Keen frontlining, and now you can't really get away from this dragon as Doran will go down, and Gen.G gonna ace them on the Baron. It's kind of hitting the point where Crescent God doesn't like bolster your tankiness, it's the only reason tanky. Uh, he nearly just Coming got out from the Lucian is palpable. As now you see even the Aurelian Soul, Jovi getting in on this one. Viper slowed down forever. And the push is continuing. No inhibitors broken just yet, but Gen G, we're gonna use the last 50 seconds to take out this middle inhibitor. All IP Sports saying, okay, that's not a huge deal. We'll just let that one go. And you see how much the momentum has swung here from Viper. You can actually get so much value from this item, uh, cutting down all that protection that Hunter Life Esports has. Yeah, he definitely can. And he's... Okay, they're going to throw out an alt here, Viper. And he's going to have to dash away. Delight nearly loses his life, just flashes over the wall. It's now Keen with his World Ender, trying to get something going here on the Zekka. That's Peanut going to be frozen up. And Hunter Life Esports are just on the run, but it's so difficult to run away from the Aurelian Soul as Peanut. He's going to get knocked up. The Crescent Guard will not save him forever. And this is exactly the team fight that Jen Matt. with the Aurelian Soul. And the damage on the Baron is ridiculous with the Aurelian Soul as well. They're going to get vision. They don't have smite. Will they take the fight? I think they kind of just have to send it. As Zekka, he took that literally. He's going to send himself into that back line and is going to survive. Just barely. But the Baron will go to Gen G. And at this point, surviving just in isn't. Very much alone. And Gen G respected it. They got the Baron and they got out as Peanut in a very awkward spot here. He does have the Crescent Guard, so he will survive. But look at this, Viper is just going to go down. He immediately gets melted. And that's two kills that will go the way of Gen G. Doran, desperation as he jumps into the two of them. And it's just not going to matter. Gen G looking to potentially put the cap on this one. And Hunter Life Esports got to be thinking back to that Baron play where they really ended up fumbling their advantage. It has cost them dearly, and now Genji should just be able to end on like esports and try and make a desperation play, but I don't think they have a good chance. <laughs> yep, definitely a desperation play. Genji looks like they have done it. No knock up here on the Toby. And uh, yeah, they're just trying their best, but this Nexus will go down as we are all tied up one to one. We have a series on our hand. Save it to chat. Look, I. A lot of people are anti-Jax in the jungle. I think Jax, in very specific circumstances, is good. I think it's good in his Zhao. Really like, because I think the sustain get, is too high. I think you kind of need like Leandri's Oblivion Orb. Um, he's going for the kill. Flash on in, and Kane is in a lot of trouble. He is going to flash away, and now it's Doran in a lot of trouble as the knockup does not come in, and Kane picks up first blood. Peanut is here. Should have this. Yeah, I mean, there's no flash, so just flash on in, and there it is. Three hits. Yeah, and down he just go. Total gold ends up going in favor. Even up and threaten a charm. You eat a lot of damage in return. This is on vision from Hummel IP Sports. Knock up here on the light, essentially just zoning them away. But he is going to get the lick down onto the hands. Well, just threatening oh, it. The light unlucky. unlucky for them. Um, and yeah, I think this pick is going to continue to be relevant throughout. Oh, they are uh, uh, they got very dead. Everybody is here. And Keen's just going to equalize with the wave. He knows he's dead. Kill will go over to Peanut. 
and he doesn't even really kill all the minions. Hmm. Yeah, the Eclipse are not doing that much. I think part of it is because nice. he went. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, Viper is fine. Doran is taking everything, and this time with the Ignite is actually struggling and gets flashed on. Holds in, and oh! now they turn it around. You've got to be kidding me. Peanut here again, top of the morning with this Pangu. I'm fine. It's like kind of okay. Uh, this dragon looks to be going the way. Canyon gonna hop over the wall though, and it does go to Canyon. Just slaps that one down with this W, but now this fight going heavily the way of Hubble and Esports Peace just barely gonna get away, but lands will go down first. The light's still on the chase here. Gets the slow on a Canyon, but that's a Jax as the flash on in with the charm is huge from the side of Zekka. Uh, that's a second kill as Doran even gonna zone Toby away from the fight. I love how this composition plays. It's so fun seeing the Viari. As soon as Zekka starts getting kills, the chase down potential is there. The setup was good. The dragon's taken by Gen G, but the plates were just not really there. I mean, he got two in total as, ooh, that's not enough information. Hmm. And he knows it. A good sixth sense on these things, honestly. There you go. There you go. I feel like games like this are ones where AD carries really miss uh, stop watching the thing. Yeah, I mean, it was way too powerful for <laughs> the gold that it was, uh, that it cost. As the slow comes down with the zap and Peanut, he's so tanky, he is going to go down, but the Devourer comes through and Delight is in a really rough spot himself. Peanut now trying to flash away, he is going to barely get away thanks to Delight as... Well, the lightning. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a little bit deep over, for that one. A little bit over aggressive there. They wanted the tower, maybe... Ooh, well, thought it'd just be a free kill. Jovi does not have vision of this, and he's oh. going to get flashed on. No flash here for Jovi himself. Just waiting for that cooldown to see if he can get away, and just the the edge of that one is going to hit away the Zekka, but it's not going to be enough, as Doran will follow up with his own ult, and that will be Jovi going down. Yeah, pretty well played there by Doran, interrupting the dash, stopping him from getting away easily. A little bit of a misplay from Zekka getting caught by the um, uh, Empress Divide. He saw him try to step away from it, but didn't catch it. But it didn't matter in the end. Brexai just so good for chasing down targets with that ultimate. Uh, tower picked up, is traded in the bot lane. But once again, Honor Life will also have two items for the Jinx as well. Dragon's uh, up now. Oh, whoa. Chovy tp right in front of that one, but at least Cannon is there. The Equalizer is huge value, forces out the Devourer already, and now Delight's in a little bit of a struggle, but the Lahen's also getting super low, ticking away, and Doran follows over the top as Canyon trying to get away, and Chovy looking for the angle, but he gets Vi ultimated immediately. They do take out the Jinx, though, as the Zonius comes out, and Chovy, he wants to carry this fight all by himself. And it looks like he might just be able to create the space for Paze on the chase. As the Flash of the Wall is not going to catch the Rek'Sai, side, but still a nice fight here for Gen G. I cannot imagine how much Honor Life Esports would be. Paze as well now, 2 0 1 on the Zeri. Oh, a play to be made here, maybe, as uh, we're going deep into that back line. Once again, the four man into four man knockup. You've got to be kidding me. They're going to take out. One of them, actually two, is now the front line is being burned here. Mike Keen picks up two kills by himself with the back line. Was accessed the entire time by Doran and Delight. And Viper was untouched the entire fight. Just such a beautiful engage. I feel like Honor Life Esports playing as a unit, the engages they find just a treat to watch, honestly. And once again, it looked like he was a little bit hesitant. It looked like Peanut was deciding- Same amount of damage in that last fight. Maybe if he's doing more. Uh, could be able to like get something going on their side with their yeah. engage and then maybe you know you've pings that are going down here from the side of Hollow Life Esports. They want to fight this. And I mean, you still have nice pick potential. You take someone out immediately, maybe you get it going. Also a potential for the seal as Equalizer doesn't do much. They get in the back line. It does go the way of Cannon and paces over the wall. They go super deep for this one as Toby goes deep himself, but Viper gets away. Zek over the wall with the flash! And we'll pick up a second kill. Viper on the chase here, looking for a bit more, but Pays and Canyon get away with the Baron buff. And honestly, this ends up working out for Gen G. It ends up going in their favor. Wasn't able to get it, wasn't able to get the charm on a Chovy. And Keen is just a bit too tanky right now. Uh, and maybe this is where Gen G can get a big resurgence. They got a lot of gold. 
from the previous passages of play. Oh, delight. Oh, delight. He's going to flash away. The equalizer doesn't do much, but now Toby gets the devour. Does delight. Saves him for a little bit, but the dive is still there. Everybody on the side of Genji getting under that turret. Has now the turn trying to come out here, but there's not a lot of damage left on the side of Hamalai Esports, and Pays is running rampant in that back line. Zeka is barely going to get over the wall with his halt getting back, but Genji make a nice play here in mid. Yeah, really positive. And then they are going to rush it down. And Peanut still could try to send it, but I think that's pretty risky, and they're just going to let it go. Genji I mean, very much handling these fights. Yeah, and I mean, you have the enemy team carries going tanky, and they have double mountain. It feels really bad. Uh, unless oh. Toby just stands on choppers, but the turnaround is coming in, and now Doran is in a lot of trouble. He's going to be burned down, as nobody on the side of Homelay of Esports could follow up on that one. And Genji. A pick and maybe a Baron. Kind of seeing what can happen if the Rek'Sai does end up falling behind a bit. He's just getting shredded. Not able to buy enough time with the ult. Not able to get off in the CC as Zeka. <laughs> well, at least he has the Banshees, I guess. And now just going to ult into the Nautilus. And Toby finds an angle. Only hits the top catch. And he's so low. A chance here for Amelie Esports. But it is Delight to go down first. The flash on in. Viper doesn't have any more summoners. He's going to go down. And the chase. Well, but this comp from Genji is enough to pull them ahead. Just crazy with how favored this game was towards Hunter Life Esports. The team fight setup from Genji has really just been so good, baiting HLE in in that situation. And now it's two members alive. Doran is sporting soon. They're going to have to try and stop the game from ending here and now. Zeka, I think he needs this ult to actually. Oh, he's going to get the smite down. Will Pino to now the turn and then. Four man knockup comes in, gives them a chance to pull this game back. You've got to be kidding me once again. Another charm is going to come in and hit base, and they clean them up entirely in the base. Just when you think the game is ending, they manage to find their way back in. The question is, will they be able to. This area. And they execute it. As here we go, Zeka on in. Very nice hook here from the hands into the wall as Dorn goes in. And the rocket hits the front line, and it just looks like Doran is unkillable, but he eventually goes down and out. Toby is in the back line, a very awkward devour as Viper. He gets a reset, but he has no summoners, and he doesn't have the damage. But now, a front line for Zeka, a chance, but the divide comes in, and Toby stands tall alongside a pace. They do the damage in the pit, and that might just be enough as they take down the mountain. So also Zeri. They're so bulky. I mean, even Zeri has such high base stats. But like Zeri is the squishiest target on this Gen G. I think they might lose their inhibitor here. The thing is, this seems good, but Elder's up in 40 seconds. It's like you're forcing Gen G back. Well, yeah, you're gonna force them back. You're gonna force a fight. I would imagine. I mean, they could even look at the Nexus turrets, but now Bax coming in. Now like these sports don't want to overstep. Toby looking for an angle now. Oh, look at the hens. Yeah, he's thinking about it, surely. As is Toby. Delight looking pretty, looking pretty tasty right now. Look at him. Trying to just hobble his way out of here, and the equalizer gonna slow him down even more. The light, though, is on the top catch as flash forward here from Keen, trying to just get that damage in. And now Doran, he gets a knockout, but there's no follow up here. Ults in, flashes away, and now a chance here for Toby. Gets in, gets a sweep, doesn't hit much, and now he has to go into his own. Yes, and now Peanut over the wall. He's not gonna get over the wall. Not gonna get over the wall. Maybe a, a good thing, actually. <laughs> See? Yeah, long wall there. You can tell they want to yeah. fight, but like Baron's up, Elder's up. You have to make something happen. A charm and a chance, and Canyon gets in, hits the stun up to everybody, and that's gonna be the end of the jinx, and maybe just the end of the game, as now four kills come in for the Zeri. And a chance maybe to push the top wave as Pays will go up here. Such a scrappy game. You know, I was really cool in the mid game. It felt like Hunter Life Esports had firm control, but this one, not only is it a huge win for Gen G, but such a tilter for Hunter Life Esports. They must have felt that game was completely in control. And then suddenly, everyone in Gen G starts building tank, and they're all just unkillable. Get him out in Seoul, build some tank items, and win some team fights as a death ball. They do exactly that. Gen G gonna take a 42 and a half minute game here as game three in the series and take the lead. With. Now looking towards the jungle pit pick, poor Canyon in this situation. Is this gonna be the least in? Sure. Yeah. That is a very awkward spot for the ward to be in. Doran! Oh no. And um, 
Yeah, he just swapped back to his gun as well. The key was going to land here, already flashed, and one more hit would do it. There it is, first blood given over to Canyon, who was given R5 Lee Sin, and is looking to make it work for him. And How did he know? Level two, Lehens is here in mid, and now Zekka is dead. Lehens making a play early on in the game. Yeah, you know what I was talking about, about maybe Hunter Life that much damage, so Lehens Kind of playing with Free Abandon, but he's got no flash here. Yeah, turn around. They want to punish Lehens for the play he just made, and they will, in fact, do that. And they'll even give the skill over to Viper. So, bit of a trade back. Canyon, meanwhile, is going to take the Void Grubs. We're back. We're back in it, you know. Hollow Life Eastwood's never going to give up. Uh, definitely a, a little bit of needed referee. Even as you said, going over the pay, uh, Viper, sorry, is, is fantastic. It also feels so incredibly useless. And uh, it's like Hollow Life Eastwood don't want it to be useless, so they're here to counter. There is about to be a big shebang in the top lane. It's a 4v4 as now Peanut going to be dragged over the wall. Does flash away and Toby not able to get over either. And now another wall is coming in as Zekka looking to join under the turrets. Pap Gen G gone too far. The answer looks like yes for now, but Toby going to sweep up Doran and at least trade it back. And now Toby here full on health, has enough mana, but will they continue is really the question. Yes. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Just stay far on far for now until the TP is about to be available. I think Keen's trying to keep him engaged. He doesn't have a chance to TP. Obviously, Cassante can very easily interrupt it. Oh. Keeping it leashed is Canyon. He says, okay, give it a try. <laughs> and the dragon to be burst down. And no, it goes the way of Canyon. Pops in with the Q, executes it down. With exactly who those someones are. Uh, Peanut's here, but he doesn't have ult. They are going to commit to this. The uh, flash engage from Lahens sails totally wide as Toby looks like he's going to stop him from getting over, but it doesn't quite matter as now Canyon in a bit of trouble himself as well. It's just going to be two kills to the Zeri, who is now three and zero. Viper benefiting so much from the dives of Genji. I feel like this is always. <laughs> I feel like that's been the consistent theme of this series. Second Dragon will be picked up by Genji, though, and they are hoping to high roll a good soul off the back of this. And it's ocean. So, not great. Yeah. Not too hot. Uh, Darn already chucked uh, low, and Keen has TP. Yeah, look at this TP war on the bottom left. It's going to be massive if he ever TPs. Oh, it's just going to go to Canyon. And now the Wombo comes in a massive sweep from the side of Toby. And yes, a bit of damage goes back, and the Zeri is surviving. They get a kill onto Canyon, but can Viper do it alone is really the question. Dorian getting in there. They're taking out Toby. They take out the carry. And now Keen getting in there on the Cassante. Dorian in the back line. He redeems himself. And Keen, he dodges so many of the cues from the Zeri. It's not even funny. But eventually, he just taps on him, and Viper wins the fight. The cleanup from the Zeri. Very able to reposition after Chovy gets the ult. Able to Herald, it means Herald as, as, object, as an objective loses a lot of value. You can't just freely slam it down, and yeah. and they kind of forgot about the potential for that. So Chovy had a great time uh, sweeping Jinxes. Uh, by the way, we do have Doran in a lot of trouble, as does the power that Kaisa, I suppose, gets in on a Doran, who is once again bullied. The rest of the team was not running that direction. Remember I said that thing about me assuming every brush is three. Him. Yeah, no, he totally didn't. Um, <laughs> I don't actually know, but no, he didn't. Um, and Ocean Drake is about to spawn. Meanwhile, Zekka's like, oh crap, I'm just going to flash away from that. That's very And especially a singular out, uh, Ocean Drake this late is not doing much for anyone. Yep. What is it? 2% uh, max health every five seconds. It's in health every five seconds. Fostering around the mid side, kind of just uh, K Ram at the moment. But if you're sitting around and Jace is hitting big damage, then you're going to be feeling pretty good. Nice unstoppable there from Keen just to save himself. And, I mean, Hollow Life Esports is just looking for a pick at this moment in time. You can't do the Baron this early, but he's standing on a ward, and now he's, even though it's Kasante, 5v1 is pretty good odds for the side of Hollow Life Esports. That's a free pick on the Keen, and maybe now they'll start the Baron. Yeah, really like here. Canyon has had Peanut's number when it comes to smites, but if they can start a fight, they still have ults available. Yeah, they're going to look to turn, and Toby gets away from that one. Peanut taking a huge amount of damage, actually, but Lahan's kind of left out to dry as the turn does come in, but they're only hoping for one kill. Toby still trying to run. He's going to have to fight away the Talia on the wall. Incredible timing, as he's always had. Against Inevitable. Just, yeah, exactly. Just totally taking over games and stuff. I mean, there were opportunities, surely. 
for the Jinx, but not quite the case. It's now Lahens. He's going to get the grab here on a Viper and maybe a chance, but now the peel comes through. Toby's got some soldiers forward, but they want to burst him down 100 to 0. They don't quite do it, though. And the damage comes through, but look at the damage. Toby gets a three man sweep on in and just turns the fight, takes out the Zeri. Down goes to Light, down goes Doran, and Zekka is alone. The stopwatch timing is so good, but Chubby eventually does go down, but it's traded. Get Gen G, they take a huge fight in the mid lane. I just can't believe he keeps playing these fights. It feels like so flawlessly every time, finding the key targets, every time they- It's like, I'm, over, I'm more important right now. Um, He's like, you're on your own, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks, not blocking that Talia damage. <laughs> And now it's second Ocean Drake of the game, and both teams are here. It's a 4K gold lead for Gen G. He's trying to make a play, the light gonna be hooked out of his dash. Down he will go. Gen G looking to stack even more. Good smite from Canyon, just in case. And now they're on soul points. Yep, they've been stacking up these dragons and. Oh, might look for something here. Yeah, I mean, they scanned out the vision. Lahens looks dead. Oh, the hook is incredibly awesomely buffered, but eventually Vi just presses R and they take him out. But still a lot extra had to be used to take him down. He's just figuring it out, you know? Okay, yeah. That, 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 uh, hmm. Well, well he, he was a difficult ability. Second tower of the game yeah. for Hunter Life Esports. It's an objective bounty as well. Uh, the light? You just burn your W. I mean, I think you're fine, but <laughs> I, I feel like Swiper does have four items now, though. So does Pays, who's gone quite AP heavy. So a lot of hope. Uh oh, Peanut. Trying to get in there. No more Celestial Opposition now for Delight, either. And Keen, uh, gonna force out the Flash, and a double knockout comes out from Keen. Wall is gonna be utilized here by the side of Zekka, but Kaisa can easily get over that. And now you don't have Weaver's Wall. Delight is chunked out with no support item. And this is Ocean Soul. Knock him on a Toby, though. He's going to get stunned up. And the Zonius will have to be burned. Didn't quite take that much damage. And now the sweep comes in. Toby gets it done once again. And Viper is just out of the fight. Gets the R pressed on him, the depth charge. And now Pace finding the angle. Gets into the back line. Viper is so incredibly low as the hook comes in. And finally, just finally, he will go down as Gen G, the clean ace in the bottom lane. And you know, in 2,000 kills, why not? Perfect timing. Perfect timing, honestly. And this has been a back and forth series, but looks like it's going to come to the end. And, you know, I'm just going to say it. I, I think this could have even been a 3-0 for Hunter Life Esports if it wasn't for Chovy putting the entire series on his back and just <laughs> saying, I am the best player in the LCK. Witness me. He certainly did that today, and Gen G have done that as well in the LCK right now. Three to one is the score line. They make it into the grand finals, and they qualify for MSI. Congratulations to Gen G, currently the best team.